But yeah, so right before I came on, I fixed my lipstick and hopefully, hopefully it looks okay now. Um, do this. All right. So I have new glasses, as you can probably see. These are just readers. I actually have um, contacts in. I got these from Zenny. I looked into getting them from Warby Parker, and you guys, they were more expensive than Zenny, and a friend of mine got her glasses there and returned them because she said that they're worse than anything she's bought at the dollar store. So I decided to go with Zenny, and I love... Here, I'll show you. I won't be able to see with them on because I have contacts in, but I love my new Zenny glasses. They're super cute. Wow, I really can't see. Okay. So that's that. But the other thing that is a problem, so these are reading glasses. So, of course, I'm walking around the house kind of like this. So I can look at things and look far away and look at things. Did grocery shopping like this. I don't know. It's, it's a new thing for me. Trying to get down the stairs looking down is scary it's all it's almost makes me dizzy um, these because they're progressives I get like dizzy going down the stairs I don't know if that's normal but hopefully hopefully I get used to it all right so I'm gonna get started I talked about the spatty the last time um, and I got it so this is the spatty it's teeny tiny little and this is the spatty daddy <laughs> it's bigger I got the two of them. Um, I think, I want to say it was $8. It might have been 10 or 11 um, But I actually used one of them. If I can open this. I was having a little trouble opening these earlier. Um, but I used it for foundation. This was... I didn't think I had any product left in, in my tube. And I had all of that. And I got it out with a little... The little spatty. It's super cute. And it fits in everything. It's crazy. Uh, I can't open it. Nope. Can't open it because that one's empty. Here it is. Yeah, look at all that foundation. That was all inside the, the empty bottle. So the spatty. S-P-A-T-T-Y. Got it on Amazon. My most favorite new invention and um it's probably not new but it's new to me um my friend stephanie she was the one that introduced me to it so thank you girl because it's my new favorite toy all right so i am going to do some contouring and highlighting tips i am not great at doing either contouring or highlighting but i did do a lot of reading on it today because um my a friend of mine um was saying today that she's like i don't know she's like i've been wearing makeup for how many years she's like and i can't seem to figure out contouring i'm like yeah me neither oh let me look stuff up <laughs> let me see let me do some research for you guys and let me figure out how to do some contouring and highlighting highlighting i think i've got down the contouring eh, maybe not so much but we will see. I have all of the tools that I need. Here's this. This is my peach palette. This is my go-to for everything. So it has um, like a peachy blush here. There's highlighter here. And then there's the contour color. Sometimes I use the contour color in my crease um, to, I don't know, to contour my eyes uh, just to make them look a little more defined if I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup that day so let's see if we can do this so a couple things I read said that you want to use something a little darker than your skin but not too dark so I guess that makes sense some also said that it's better to use um, Let's see, don't use bronzer. So don't use bronzer to contour. For highlighter, you could, as long as it's a light highlighter. So there's all these rules, you guys. So I'm gonna start off with the dark, that brown color that I pointed at. I'm just gonna use, it's an angled brush. It makes it a little bit um, easier. Sometimes when I, cause I have tried to do this a bunch of times, 
Um, sometimes I'll hold it like this so it's a little bit thinner. Um, but when you contour, you want to do under your cheekbone, um, like here. So it's an 80s trick. Right there. <laughs> I learned that in the 80s. Um, and then you want to do under your chin and above your hairline. So let's let's start. The other thing that it said you can do, see now I feel like that's too dark, right? I don't know, I'll blend it after. The other thing they say you can do is you can actually get a more defined line if you use um, a couple things. There's tape, you could use the edge of this. Um, actually, I can show you. I will do that just for you guys, like this to get a more defined spot. Okay. Um, obviously I'm blending this. I'm not, I'm not going to leave it like that. And I'm going to have different types of highlighter and contour all over my face. So I'm going to do up here because when we highlight, that's going to the, the sun or light or whatever is going to hit right here, so you're going to want to highlight there. But this is supposed to make your face look a little bit thinner and on your temples. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. I am going to fix it though. I do use this a lot under here, and the reason for that is because of this. I have I have this chin that I hate, and so I like to try and fix it. I definitely don't recommend wearing bobble earrings while you do this. Okay, so let me get my sponge and I'll, I'll um, actually, I'll use this. I'm going to blend it with this. So there's a couple things you can do. My sponge is a little dirty, but you can use a sponge. Um, and I like to use a sponge when it's wet. This one is not wet right now. Um, looks better, right? It's not as harsh. Or you can use um, a blending brush. They're gonna look different because I did it differently. This one was this one was a little bit darker too. So all right. So now we'll do highlighter. Do you see how it looks like there's a shadow here? Because I did here. Um, see here? It looks like there's a shadow kind of neat. It's different. I do do that a lot because I hate my chin. I hate it. Um, oh, the other place that I have been known to contour is my nose. And I will show you. I don't really have a good brush. I don't really have a good brush for um, contouring my nose at all. So I'm going to use um, an eyeshadow brush. I used to do this with um, contouring cream. Not kidding. That's what I do. I, I do do this one a lot. I'm telling you guys all my secrets. So just a little blending. And it does. It makes your nose look a little thinner. So I have a more defined chin because I've done it down here and my nose looks a little thinner even thinner still when I do this um, I'm gonna use so I have a whole highlighter palette my favorite one obviously you can tell is the pink one <laughs> I use it the most and actually I'm gonna do this first so I use kind of I don't know like a fluffy brush 
and I do here on my forehead and I bring it down my nose. This I do almost every day. Even if I'm not really wearing any makeup. Like that. Um, and I do it on the tops of my cheeks right here. So I also read today that a good thing to do for highlight is to use two different colors. A really light color on the top and then a little bit darker here and then obviously the contour um, here, which I feel like the contour is looking a little splotchy. Hmm. I wonder how I could fix that. I don't know. This side looks better. We'll pretend that this side's my good side. <laughs> so right on your cheekbones, just like where the sun would hit so so let's say the sun is is coming down here it's gonna hit here it's gonna hit here up here and my chin sometimes here cute right so that's contouring and highlighting um let's see so forehead nose top cheeks chin for highlighter and here you want to contour here to make your face look a little thinner um up here to make your forehead look a little smaller because i obviously need that to happen um and your chin here which is my favorite place to do it i do it here all the time um let's see what else i have been known to use eyeshadow as highlighter and contour I have been known I actually have been known to use eyeshadow also on my lips um, for lipstick <laughs> so I take lip gloss and I mix it um, with some eyeshadow and make a color and I've been known to to do that I don't actually know if anyone knows that I do these things but these are the things that I do when I'm I'm sitting at home putting my makeup on and I'm like hmm I really wish I had a sparkly red lipstick oh I have sparkly red eyeshadow <laughs> I could make sparkly red lipstick with my lip gloss and that's what I do. Um, so the last thing that I want to do at the very end of everything, especially since I get very oily skin. So yes, it looks pretty now, but this is going to be super shiny in like an hour. So I just take, of course, I, I think I used all my brushes, so I just have to kind of beat it off. Okay, I, I, you should see the side of my desk. Someday I will walk around my room and show you what a mess I am. I take this on the side of my desk, say that this is the side of my desk, and I do this with all my brushes, all of them. You can imagine what my desk looks like. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. All right. So we take some translucent powder and just kind of fluff it around your face. And this is going to get rid of any excess oil and kind of just set everything that we just did in place. That's it. See, it didn't ruin anything. It's translucent. Um, okay. So that's it. That's all I came here to